You ready for school? Mm -hmm. Yep, it's Friday. No, so that means no school tomorrow. Oh. Go on the other side. Good morning, Rogers. What's up? And welcome back to another vlog. So I'm headed to drop King off for school. And then I have to rush back to the house and pack all Mila's things because she will be going with a sitter um, until baby girl gets here just to be prepared. Um, so I have to go home and prep all of her little things and pack her little bag and then drop her off this morning as well and then I have a doctor's appointment that I have to go to so that's the agenda for today I'm going to update you guys on the appointment because hopefully fingers crossed I get an induction date I'm honestly over this pregnancy and if she's measuring as big as they're saying she is I don't see why they wouldn't go ahead and induce me because technically I'm 37 weeks today which makes her what 39 so that's a big baby that i'm gonna have to push out so hopefully we can just talk and just see even if they just strip my membrane something but i do know i'm gonna get my cervix checked today um and yeah so i'm about to drop my little man off at school and thank god it's friday right king did you eat your biscuit huh do you want the other one? Huh? Okay. So, that's today's agenda. And not only that, I have to take both the little ones to the doctor with me. Because Quan has school and I haven't wanted to watch them. But we did it the last time and it worked out. So, we shall see how it all plays out. I know I'm looking tired. I had a rough night. I don't even sleep no more, y'all. It's just bad at this point. <laughs> that's why I'm so ready to have her. I would rather not be able to sleep while she's here versus, yeah, y'all know what I'm trying to say. So, I'm going to drop Kingy off. I'm at the school. It literally takes us a oh, two minutes. Sure. You see him? King, uh-uh. Sit down until the car stops. You know that. Parking lot or not, do not do that anymore. But, yeah. He's so eager to get out because he's seeing his friend. So... Yeah. So I guess I'll chit chat with you. Okay, y'all can't even see me. Sorry, the wheel is turned. But oh, let me see. So I guess I'll chit chat with you guys once I get Mila dropped off, maybe, or get to the doctor's office. I'm not sure yet. But King, come here. Come here, King. Tell our loungers to have a good day. Have a good day. Let me show my lunchbox. And make sure you have your lunchbox. Six. And don't forget it today, okay? Alright, and don't forget your snack. Your snack is in there. I put the um, Pringles for today, okay? What's a Pringles? Uh, it's in the little... Chips. Yeah. That's what snack is for today, okay? Sounds good? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, I guess I'll talk to you guys once I get... What happens to my like, next destination okay guys so I'm at the doctor's and I'm having contractions they're a little bit painful like they're bearable but they're still like painful and like I said I got the two youngest in the back so I'm probably going to go and it's 920 the appointment isn't until 945 but I think I might go in early Hi guys. Just use the bathroom hi. and just make sure. I'm hi okay. guys. Charlie said hi. Take hi your seatbelt off, babe. I love you. Oh. So yeah. We're gonna check on Noble, our baby girl Noble. Yeah, we're gonna check on baby girl Bye. Noble. And hopefully I get some good news today because uh, if they're uh, saying what 
If they're saying I'm measuring two weeks ahead, I'm technically 37 weeks today, and she's 39 weeks. So, hopefully we can just talk about induction. I'm going to state my concerns about this pregnancy because I have a few of them, being that she's so big. My back hurts. Like, it's just, I'm just at my wit's end, everybody. So, I'm going to get these kids out. I'm going to get the stroller out because that's the only way. The only way I can function if I bring the double stroller, even though that thing is a hassle because it's like a massive SUV pushing it. But on your I don't know what's going on, but she's in there doing something, y'all. She's probably ready just as much as I am. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, get the kids out. Get them situated, and then we're going to go in here a little early because I'm having contractions right now. So, fingers crossed, everybody. Fingers crossed. Okay, y'all. So, we are back home. Y'all, I got an attitude at this point. Like, I'm just going to be 100% real. Um, So, I went to the doctor. I'm going to check my cervix. I am the same amount dilated. I don't know if I told you guys, but last week I got my cervix checked and I was only a centimeter and a half. I'm still at a centimeter and a half. They do not want to induce me yet. Um, I'm just playing the waiting game at this point. Like, I want to have my baby. Like, I know you're not supposed to rush it, but... <sighs> yeah, oh. I need to do something. I'm about to start. I'm full term. So, y'all might be seeing a, um, a self-induce, or what is it called, a, a naturally induced video coming up, because, uh-uh, I can't wait till 42 weeks. I can't wait till 40 weeks. Hell, I cannot, excuse me, I cannot wait, okay? Like, I'm to the point where I know she's big. They know she's big. And I'm carrying a 39-week baby, even though I'm 37 weeks, and I'm only a centimeter and a half dilate. What are you doing in there, Noble? What are you doing in there, honey? <sighs> Y'all, I'm just ready to have my baby. So, I tried to do a pop-up on my mom, but clearly she wasn't home. So, I just came back home. I stopped at Dario's and got the kids something to eat and myself. And now I'm back at home. They're supposed to be coming to check our meter today. Um, that's what the lady at the maintenance office said. So, I don't know if they've come already or what, but it's between 9 and 5. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to take a nap today because... All of the timing just ran right up until really nap time. And the kids kind of took a baby nap in the car. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them to take a nap either. But yeah, your girl got an attitude. Because, mm, -mm. I can't wait, y'all. I can't, like. I can't. So, yeah, that's the update on my doctor's visit, you guys. Also, they did the, uh, what is it called? The group strip test or something like that. And I still have to take my iron pills because my iron is still low. Like, not super, super low, but it's low. So, I still am on iron pills and my prenatals every day. But other than that, I'm still pregnant, you guys, with no induction date. So, yeah, that's story of what I'm going through right now and my attitude is so bad right now. Hey hey buddy you just gonna drink my drink? Hey Oh, he cares about it's my drink. Okay, can you get it? Okay, okay, there's nothing left. This is the child you can't share with because he drinks it all. Give your sister some. Give your sister some. Keegan, uh uh. We're gonna share. I don't even know if there's anything left, baby girl. I need to do her hair. 
I'm just not in the mood. And Keegan is having a tension. If you guys can hear. Maybe he do need another nap. Bubba, you need another nap. You need another nap. Are you going to share? Keegan, you're not going to share with sister? Okay, honey, that's all gone. It's nothing but ice at this point. Ice. Yeah. No more. Go play. Uh-uh. Go play. Go play or get your tablet. Where's your tablet? You want tablet, Tom? Go find your tablet. Yeah. Go find it. You had it. Look at him. What you doing? It's all gone, babe. What do you want? It's all gone. Sister drunk it all. Hey, this is what I go through. Oh, help me. Keegan, mommy said no. Uh-uh. No, sir. This is the side of Keegan y'all never get to see. No, sir. Not nice. Not nice. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come tell mommy sorry. It's nothing in there. I don't know why you getting such such an attitude about it. Uh uh. No, you're not making a mess. No. He loves taking the lid off of stuff. Don't have ice all over the floor. Oh, we dropped Mila off at the sitters this morning, and I don't know why, but I got emotional per usual, even though I know we're going to have her back after baby girl gets here. It's just something that we're doing because she does have to get groomed. She's going to get all her nails and stuff cut. I just told you no, so we're not doing that. No, sir. Um, so she's going to get all her nails and stuff cut and get groomed. You can't find it. No, you're not doing that either. Okay, well, go play in your room. Go find something to do. No TV right now, okay? Go play. Um, But, yeah, so she's going to get groomed and cleaned all up. So she'll be gone for probably, like, hopefully two weeks, if I'm not mistaken. And hopefully baby girl is here by then. Or she'll be gone up until because we don't want to have to leave her here since nobody's going to be here once I go to the hospital. So we kind of just wanted to prepare her. I'm so grateful that she, the sitter was able to get her. Um, so I packed her a little bag and stuff and she was just like whining a little bit. But she does know the girl um, because I adopted her from, I adopted through her because she works at a vet. That's who I got Mila from. So she knows her and I just felt like it was really nice of her to reach out to me. To help me with Mila before baby girl got here. So, I am already missing Mila. I was like, when I walked through the door, I'm like, I don't hear my baby <laughs> barking to get out of her crate. So, yeah. They got the best ice, y'all. I can't share this with the kids. But, no baby, y'all. Don't forget, I still got an attitude. Keegan, you stink. I'm going to change Keegan, y'all, because he's stinking. Mm -hmm. I'll be done threw up everywhere in here. Okay, y'all, so I'm back in the car picking up King. I'm sitting in the car right around. Let me tell you something. I'm tired. I did not get a nap. Only person that took a nap was Charlie. So, I'm tired. I'm trying to say hi. But we are just waiting in this car to line and oh they are so cute to get king. And I tried to come a little bit not late but like enough time to get the line through and yet I'm still sitting in line. Stand and steal water bottles. It's not king baby. Sand and steel water bottles are lifesavers. They stay cold all day. King. If you put ice in them. King. But yeah. King. 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 
has like that ear yet, you guys. I'm just gonna be so ready to just see him. It's Friday, so I'm sure he's gonna want to go home and play Fortnite. I'm tired, y'all. And I still got an attitude about my doctor's visit. I'll probably hear the air. I don't know how loud it is to y'all, but currently waiting on my baby to come on out. To come on out the building. Okay, so yesterday when I was in line, I was the last, not the last car, but there was like two lanes. And they let this... Attractions, y'all, like attracting but nothing. Hold on, I gotta pull up and get King. But yeah, yesterday it was two lines, and she made my car wait, honey. Come on, baby. Oh, he's just the cutest thing ever. Have a good day. <laughs> I can close it. Okay, y'all. So, this is the fourth day. The fourth day that I have been hearing about this little girl at King's School named Merit. Okay? Clearly, Merit has a little crush on King because every time he sees her, or she sees him, she does what, King? Come here. Give me a hug. What does she do? Give me a hug. Mama. You think that's cute? Yeah. Hi, guys. Yeah. Here. I don't think it's cute. Why are you giving away hugs? My hugs. Hi, guys. Tell Mary to keep her hands to herself, because you're all mine. <laughs> She's your friend? That's okay. You can have friends, okay? No girlfriends, though, okay? Okay? Pinky promise. No girlfriends, just friends. Okay. Okay. Don't be doing that like you're tired of me. <laughs> hey, pretty girl. Huh? No, yeah, you can have a boy, a guy friend, yeah. You can have a girlfriend. You can have a female friend as well, just not, like, dating. Okay? I'm not playing, King. It's not funny. He doesn't understand all that yet, but it ain't happening. Okay? No. Hey! Hey, King! Bring my drink back up here! Uh-uh, no, no, no. Mm-mm. Okay, that's enough. Get some, Charlie. You can share what I... Okay, wait a minute, Keegan. What's mine's is theirs. This little Aggie bump right here gotta go. I'm over it. King, give me that. Lord. It's your turn, Mommy. It's my turn. No, and then it's nobody's turn after Mommy's. I'm ready to go home. Get in the bed. And just sleep. <laughs> now I gotta go home and cook. And probably kick my feet up and watch some movies. So, yeah. I'm going to just go ahead and end this vlog. Thank you. What, Bubby? Just chill out. Hold on. Here, Keegan. Want that? No, Charlie. No, it's Keegan. Hold on, y'all. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Chaos, here, hold up. Okay, well, y'all know how to keep drinking because then you're going to have to go to the bathroom. Yeah, when you get home. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. You're going to play with your voice. No, I didn't play the rock, paper
Okay, y'all, so I'm going to just go ahead and end this vlog here because I know I'm probably not going to do much. Once I get back to the house, I know this vlog really wasn't much of anything, but I did want to vlog today and get something up. Sure, what you got to say? So, I Mary was crying, but you know what? Braylon helped Mary in the room. Why are you looking sad? Dylan? He got hit by Amber's shoe because when he was walking past him, his shoe flew on him. Okay, you got Oreos all over your mouth. We don't know who them people are, but Meredith's a little girl who hugs him every day, y'all. Just to clear that up. But no. Please, no. Why? I'm going to do too much. You always do too much. I'm not going to do too much. You doing too much now. Why are you standing on my seat? Get down. Right now. They be losing their mind, y'all. Okay, like I was saying, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, give this video a huge thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and have never seen my face before, please be sure to go down below and click that subscribe button to become a lounger. Yeah. Charlie, tell our loungers bye. Say we love you guys. See them on the back. I love you. And look at Sneaky. <laughs> bye, y'all.